So, we now uh, move on to our sixth and last problem for the topic manometers. So, let me read the uh, problem statement. Determine the angle theta of the inclined tube shown if the pressure at point A is greater than at point B by 1 PSI. So, ito yung original configuration. So, gawa natin ng corresponding uh, labeling itong uh, configuration natin dito, no? So, first thing that we have to do is to identify a known pressure region. So, sabi nga dito, no? Sa A daw, uh, so, sa, since sarado itong ating manometer, much better na mapaghanap tayo ng isang location kung saan meron tayong established pressure region. So, sabi dito, at A daw, ang pressure is greater than at B by around 1 PSI. So, isabihin ngayon dito, no? Ang gagawin natin dito is meron tayong known pressure at A. So, lagyan na lang natin ng statement from the uh, configuration. So, meron tayong A, tapos meron tayong B. So, you have PA, tapos you have PB. So, PA tapos PB. So, by the way nga pala, no? So, sa B, kung titinan natin dito, ito yung point B, which is at the middle, then, ito yung pinaka-end nya. So, since ang substance involved natin dito is in the form of air, so, air is an example of a gas, so, basta't meron tayong substance in the form of a gas, yung pressure that is exerted by gases are transmitted and diminished in every part or portion of its confining vessel. So, meaning to say, ang um, point ko lamang dito is ito. Yung PB natin dito is the same as yung PB natin dito sa pinaka-surface ng uh, liquid natin dito having specific gravity of 1. So, start tayo yung disk ng ano, solution natin. PA tapos PB. So, since ito yung established nating uh, pressure region dito, which is PA, dito tayo ngayon mag-start ng numbering. So, this is uh, 1. No? So, ito yung start point, end point. So, hanapin nyo lang yung pinakadulo ng pinaka-liquid. So, as indicated by the, by the uh, color. So, pwede dito. Ang problem natin is wala tayong uh, distance magmula dito. Papunta dito sa part na to. So, i-consider natin yung pinaka- part natin dito. So, ito yung 1. Ito ngayon si uh, 2. Tapos, ito ngayon si uh, 3. Ayan. So, you have here what? You have 1, you have 2, you have 3. So, 1 to 2, then 2 to 3. So, pressure exerted from 1 to 2. Then, pressure exerted from 2 to 3 is equivalent to PB. So, ang gagawin natin dito is from 1 to 2. So, since bumaba tayo ng elevation, lilabel natin to as uh, positive. So, from 2 to 3. So, since nagkaroon tayong ascendance, so tumaas yung location ng 3 with respect to sa 2. So, lilabel natin to as negative. So, base dito, sabi, mas mataas daw yung pressure dito sa may pressure vessel at A compared sa pressure vessel at B by 1 PSI. So, lagyan natin dito ng statement with PA greater than PB by uh, 1 PSI. So, namalabas na yung PA natin is equivalent to uh, PB plus 1 PSI. Ayan. So, then again, ang gagamitin natin formula. So, base dito, no? Uh, liquid pressure formula, you have gamma multiplied by the height. So, in case na again, di given, Break down natin via the specific gravity, gamma ng water, tapos yung height. So, again, ito yung gagamitin nating formula. So, 
palit na natin ngayon yung value ng PA which is PB plus 1 PSI dito no so in this case you have PB plus 1 PSI plus P1 to 2 minus P measured from 2 to 3 is equivalent to PB so in this case positive PB is equivalent to positive PB so in this case pwede natin eliminate to so tanggal na siya so in this case you have what 1 PSI plus pressure measured from 1 to 2 minus pressure measured from 2 to 3 is equivalent to 0 so lumalabas you have 1 PSI plus ano meron sa 1 to 2 so from 1 to 2 ang specific gravity is uh, 1 so pressure a specific gravity is uh, 1 measured from 1 to 2 is equivalent to equate na natin so instead of minus P2 to 3 equate na natin sa 2 to 3 so ano meron sa 2 to 3 so from 2 to 3 same color so same liquid so, pressure exerted by the uh, uh, liquid having specific gravity of 1 measured from 2 to 3. Yan. So, break down na natin siya. So, 1 PSI. So, plus uh -huh, specific gravity which is 1. Tapos, you have what? Gamma ng H2O. Tapos, height involving the specific gravity of 1 measured from 1 to 2 is equivalent to is equivalent to So, lumalabas dito, no? Ito ngayon ng uh, natin. So, from 2 to 3 So, ito yung 2 to 3 natin. Papakita ko lang. So, 2 to 3. So, height measure from 2 to 3. So, kung papansin ninyo dito, uh, wala tayong direct uh, distance between uh, 2 to 3. However, meron tayo dito tinatawag na triangle dimension. So, sa triangle dimension natin dito, kung ang, ob ang requirement, ang goal is to uh, obtain yung height measure from 2 to 3. So, lamalabas, ito yung tinutukoy nating uh, opposite side. Tapos, ito naman yung sinasabi nating hypotenuse side. So, O. So, yung sabihin, lamalabas, pwede nating kuhanin yung height measure from 2 to 3 base sa sign ng angle which is opposite all over hypotenuse. So, in this case, lamalabas, sign ng angle which is theta opposite side you have a uh, height measured from 2 to 3 all over hypotenuse side which is 10 feet yan so lumalabas ngayon dito is uh, breakdown natin to so pag binreakdown gagayahin lang natin so yung main difference lamang dito is yung corresponding height so lumalabas dito as what specific gravity measure uh, specific gravity of the liquid having a value of 1 uh, gamma ng H2O tapos uh, you have what? height ng specific gravity na 1 measure from 2 to 3 now, itong part na to, basically is eto. Ayan. So, in this case, you have what? 10 feet. Tapos, you have sign ng data. Ayan. So, simplify na natin yung ating equation. So, lalabas siya as uh, 1 PSI 
plus specific gravity na 1. So, gamma na water. So, in this case, no? Gamma na water. So, since ang unit natin dito is PSI, English, ang gagamitin natin unit weight or gamma na water is you have 62.427 pounds per cubic feet. So, height ng specific gravity measure from 1 to 2. So, from 1 to 2, ang height niya is 1 feet. It's equivalent to specific gravity is 1. So, unit weight ng water, you have 62.427 pounds per cubic feet. So, multiply by yung height. So, yung height na breakdown na natin at 10 feet tapos sign ng theta. Yan. So, simplify natin. So, lumalabas, you have what? Uh, so, square feet to. So, you have here 62.427 pounds per square feet is equivalent to sixty two point four two seven multiplied by ten. So unit nya is you have a uh, square feet left. So, you have 620, ah, 620, rather 624 pala, sorry. So, 624, point twenty seven pounds per square feet. Tapos, uh, sign which is theta. So, in this case, 1 PSI. Uh, pakita na natin yung kanyang identity. Pounds per square inch. So, kapapansin natin, pounds per square feet. Tapos, kinakailangan combine siya dito sa pounds per square feet. So, not possible kasi magkaiba sila ng unit. So, in this case, kinakalaman mo provide tayong conversion. So, for every 12 inches, you have 1 feet. So, distribute natin yung power of 2. 2 tapos 2. So, kakancel out to. So, pounds per square feet plus a unit of pounds per square feet. So, possible na siya. So, lumalabas, you have what? You have 12 square plus 62.427 you have 206.427 206.427 so 206.427 in units of pounds per square feet all over 624.27 pounds per square feet. So, in this case, kinakalang unitless. Now, which is, makikita naman, is equivalent to sine ng theta. Ayan. So, in this case, simplify pa natin. So, you have 206.427 divided by 6, 624.27 27 so you have 0.3307 so 0.3307 so 0.3307 is equivalent to sine ng theta so therefore yung angle which is theta is therefore equivalent to so, inverse sign ng value. So, you have 19.309. 19.309 uh, degrees. So, you have 19.309 degrees. 
So, ito yung hinahanap nating corresponding angle. So, yung angle natin of the inclined tube, so as suggested by the uh, problem, and base doon sa mga given na uh, data natin, is at an angle of 19.309 degrees. So, yun, this will actually conclude our discussion in solving for problems falling under the category of the uh, manometers. So, yun lang guys. Ano?